Welcome everyone, Dylan Jamelli here today with a brand new video for you. I have a badass video for you today. We're going to talk about the most commonly faked steroids and PEDs. But before we get into that, just a big shout out and thank you to everybody out there supporting the channel. I cannot thank you enough. The likes, the subs, the shares. If you haven't yet, please like, sub, share, whatever you can do. It helps the channel to grow. It is beyond appreciated and, and it allows me to produce more and more content for you. Now also, Today's video is sponsored by letsgetcheck.com. Now, letsgetcheck.com specializes in at-home blood testing. You've heard me talk about them often. They are elite. They are literally at the top of the mountain for at-home blood testing. All you got to do, go to the website, pick out whatever test you want to order. They have everything, wellness, hormonal, male testing, female testing, like specific to the, to the individual. Um, they have even COVID testing. They do it all, sexual health. All you got to do, go order whatever test you want. Use the code Jamelli30, save 30% off so you can stock up on more. Then you, you can get a priority mail or overnighted. They're going to send you the test, turn around, ship them right back after you get them, after you take your test. You're going to get your results online. You've got doctors and nurses there to help you. It's fast, reliable, easy, and efficient. Use the code Jamelli30 to save 30% off. Let's get checked.com. Now, let us discuss this. I am I, I love this one because I get asked this all the time and I want to clear some things up and get into detail on this and it's it's not just a factual video. It's I can expound a little bit on experience and things that I've seen and observed and etc. So we're going to talk about the top 5 most commonly fake steroids and PEDs because I had to mix a couple in here because there's certain steroids that are definitely commonly fake but then there's a couple other things out there that I need to discuss. Number five is very, very broad and understand where I'm going with this, it's SARMs. Now, just like anything else that we're gonna talk about here, if you get quality, you are, I mean, my there is no question on my love for SARMs, none. I think we all know that. I've been talking about them for over a decade and this was well before most, I'm not saying I'm the original founder of SARMs, but I was one of the earlier people that was kind of talking about them and, and, and getting more into the ear of people way back when there were like f literally very, very few SARMs companies out there, a handful at times. And the only thing that you could take back at this time was S4 and MK2866. And there were like three websites that had MK677 and it was like 250, 350 bucks a bottle. Nobody was using it. Um, and nobody knew anything about it. So that's how far back I go with these. Now, what happened was, once the pro-hormone ban hit, everybody that was stuck with sometimes millions of dollars of raws in pro-hormones had to do something. I mean, they were, I, I, I see where they're coming from. I disagree completely, obviously, but they were like panicked. So what do we do? They discovered SARMs. And then what did they start doing? Well, a lot of these companies, and they were everywhere. They were, they were marketing them as supplements, completely illegal, defeats the entire purpose. They were not only doing that, but they were taking these and filling them with pro-hormone powders. Sometimes some people would just totally fill them with them. And some people were, you know, spiking them, combining them to do several things. One, to make SARMs appear to be far stronger than they are. Two, to obviously alleviate their losses from the pro-hormones. The, the powders that they had. But the problem was, is people started getting abnormal side effects that you would never get with SARMs, crazy results that the expectations were off the chart. So when people were buying real SARMs, they didn't know what they were actually getting. Then what does it do? Well, it gets mainstream. It's obviously illegal. Then you start getting these narratives out there. Oh, SARMs do this and this, they're bad. This. No, no, because they were flooded and spiked in the market. Now, over time, that's degraded down, but now there's just so many companies popping up left and right, making fake companies, selling garbage, doing this, doing that, taking your money, disappearing and starting new ones. That's what they're doing. They're having tons of SEO work done, so they're popping up everywhere. There's fake review sites making it look like they're so great, and then they disappear and a new one comes and they do it again. And there's so many new people out there buying them, they don't know what they're doing. And they're getting caught into this mess. So that's why I have SARMs at five. Now, there's plenty of great SARMs companies out there. And if you find them, and I've done videos on this on, on my favorite ones, you are set. If they do things the right way, you don't want to be buying from people that are doing this, this, and this. You, how could you trust somebody doing any of that? That's why I have SARMs on the list. 
Number four, HGH. Now, HGH is very expensive. We all know that. And it is one of the most commonly faked compounds out there. You, a lot of HGH is coming in from China, let's face it. I mean, if you get, you can easily go to anti-aging clinics and get it here, but it's very pricey to go to these clinics, et cetera, and a lot of people just want to keep it underground. The problem is when you keep it underground, you pay for what you get for. You don't necessarily know what you're getting, and more, a lot of times your HGH is going to be HCG that's sent to you or IGF or something a lot cheaper, uh, but HCG is what you're really finding a lot of with HGH coming in from China, or you'll order HGH from China and you get a generic and you've got to take eight to ten IUs of it where you really should only need two to three of quality, even one to two of super quality HGH, depending on what you're trying to get out of it. So because it's so expensive and because it's so easy to take advantage of people doing this, it's one of the most commonly faked PEDs out there. So we got your SARMs and your HGH. Now we got three steroids to cover. And two and three are close, honestly, but I'm going, I'm, I'm, the separation here is one is way more commonly used and more popular. So number three, halotestin. Halotestin is very, for those that you don't know, halotestin raws are very, very expensive. And I've gathered this over the years because I didn't understand why Halo would be faked, you know. And it's kind of hard to fake something like Halo to get that kind of aggression and strength. But it's still very commonly faked. And a lot of people that, that think they handle, they handle Halo well have no clue because they're not really using it. And that's the problem is a lot of people don't know what it's like, don't know what to expect. But because it's so expensive, a lot of times you're getting a Winstrol Anivar com combination or shit. Some people just don't care and just give you Winstrol and take your money. And, and the, oh, well, I got hard and I got stronger. Well, yeah, Winstrol does that, but you didn't use Halo. Because one, you wouldn't have lasted six weeks on Halo. You wouldn't have ran it at this dose, etc. And I've seen it all, or they didn't get the proper experience. But Halo was very commonly faked. It's very, very expensive. And, you know, somebody that's not experienced isn't going to understand the true Halo experience. Now, number two is Anivar. Anivar... Anivar is obviously one of the most popular and widely used compounds because it's got lower end side effects. It's more geared towards like cutting fat loss and it really does well. It's the shit. It is. My literally top two for me, Prima Bull and Anivar are my two favorite. Uh, funny that the, those are the most commonly faked ones. A lot of times you're getting Winstrol with Anivar. Anivar is very, very, very expensive. Now, a lot of people can't tell the difference. Somebody like me can tell the difference. I know. Some people simply just don't know any better. They never really got real Anivar. You'll be able to tell. Winstrol is a lot harsher. They're, the side, And I've covered them both separately, but you should be able to tell for most. The, the joint pain, that you, if you're doing blood work, you, you even though Anivar is toxic, Winstrol is going to hit you a lot worse. You're going to feel worse on it. There's a lot of telltale signs. But, and, and I've seen people that, uh, I, I'm one, okay? The one time I took D-ball, it was supposed to be Anivar. And so, you know, gain 12, 13 pounds in two weeks on test master on an Anivar, which you have no business gaining on it, you know something's wrong. We'll come to find out the entire batch uh, from, from where I got it from was D-ball. Females were taking it and getting messed up. It was a disaster. I ended up making the best of it on the cycle and actually came out pretty damn solid on it, but it was not what I expected. And Anivar is very commonly fake, but number one is Prima Bolin and my favorite, and it just sucks. But Prima Bolin is literally like the most expensive out there in terms of the raws from, from what I have seen and gathered over all these years. That's why it's the most commonly faked. Um, and it's so widely used and wanted to use for a multitude of reasons, but being how clean of a steroid it is from the side effects and what you get from it. And, the, and my love for it is no secret, right? But unfortunately, you're going to, a lot of times you're getting equipoise, a lot. And a lot of people wouldn't have the slightest clue the difference. Go right to your blood work, check your RBC count, you're going to know the difference. That's one telltale sign of a few. I, you know, you're probably going to get bigger on equipoise which you should know Primo's not going to be putting on 10, 15 pounds or anything like that. So that's another telltale sign. Um, a lot of people will have hunger increases, anxiety problems with equipoise, start overthinking, etc. You're not going to get that with Primo. Um, so those are things. Primo's going to be drier and you're going to feel better. And so, but it is difficult for some people to tell that don't, that never had real Primo or don't have experience, etc. So unfortunately... 
all of my favorite things are all the ones that are that are fake. I well, I take that back. Halo's not, and I don't dislike HGH by any means. I like HGH, but it's not one of my favorites. But three of the five, uh, Sarms, Anavar, Primo. Can you believe it? Yeah, of course. Um, anyway, that is my list of the top five most commonly faked steroids and PEDs. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you gathered something from it. That being said, stay tuned for plenty more to come. Dylan Jamelli signing off.